Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope everyone's doing good today. Hope everyone's been having a fabulous week so far. So, as you can tell, didn't obviously stream uh, yesterday. Ended up having a longer day that day, so I ended up uh, ended up just taking the day off and everything. I was planning to stream, but some stuff came up, so I didn't bother doing it. So, we're streaming today. Rare Thursday stream, which not becoming so rare since technically I streamed last Thursday as well, but that's just due to scheduling and... Technically, this week was also due to scheduling. I was also going to stream on Tuesday for a little surprise stream. D didn't happen there either because it was storming. So, the lords above said otherwise for me streaming. But, nice beautiful day today. I uh, got to leave early for work. Had my dinner early and everything. So, we're going to be playing some Rise of Ronin. If you saw the thumbnail, if you saw the title, of course. Arna is back in the game. I ended up... Uh, just saying, screw it. I know I couldn't get the three markings on each cheek working because they, as far as I knew, uh, they don't have an, have a way of you being able to like flip like the markings or anything like that. You could rotate them, but for some reason they made the rotations very limited in this game compared to like Wolong and even Neo for that matter. Which again, weird, but it is what it. Excuse me, it is what it is. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, just give her the one markings on the cheeks and everything. But yeah, I ended up uh, just going ahead and made her in this game just for the hell of it. I'll transition over now so you can see. It's our girl. She's back. She's back in the game. So I've been using an, uh, a Naginata and the Katanas and everything. So that'd be nice. I, I literally just got this stance for the Naginata. So I'll have to try it out in combat and everything. But for the most part, I've been actually kind of enjoying the game. I will not lie, I have been a little bit of a bitch and I've been going back and forth between Dawn and Dusk difficulties. Not for any reason of finding the game itself difficult. The only thing I've ever found which was a little weird was the countering system in this game. The damage and everything I'm used to, because again, I played games like Neo, Wolong, so the damage thing wasn't really the issue. Mostly it was just when I'm ever doing like these like little things here where I'm just going around the world and everything, and I kind of at time, from time to time just like sit on that difficulty of Dawn every once in a while, which is the... I classify it as normal difficulty. I'd say it's weird. They don't have an easy difficulty in this game. I'd say Dawn is like normal. Dusk is hard. And then whatever the difficulty after that is, uh, is like very hard or chaos if you want to go for warrior's terms and all that stuff. But yeah, I decided to just go ahead and make her. I also did change up our blade twin just for the time being. The good thing is you could always go back and forth and change them up whenever you want. So for now, I actually ended up making a uh, great value version of Light. Because I want to just see some of the, the the male stuff in the game. Since I never really got to see it. I was going to play as uh, Light and have Harna be the Blade Twin. But I was like, the whole purpose is me to actually see the Blade Twin as an opponent right now. Because, uh, spoiler alert, uh, the Blade Twin kind of is working on the other side of what you are. Um, there is also like branching paths in this game. And... I probably will test that out maybe sometime down the line and all that, but as of right now, I'm not really in any rush to. But regardless, let's go ahead and give the hellos and we'll officially be underway. Uh, Rika Haru, Niotengu, Nikki, Ana, Super Mystic Boy, Yukisano, TJ, Kenny, Jubei, Aiden, Matt, Sensei Atori, Akira, Ali, Haku, Mark. Hope everyone's doing good. Any lurkers as well. Hope everyone's doing fabulous today. So yeah, this, is, this actually has been a bit of an addiction. At first, I was like, eh with the game, but as I got into it more and more, as I started to learn that like, oh, there's different stances that you can use to like benefit against certain enemies. And I was like, oh, wow, this is really just Ghost of Tsushima, just a slight bit more chunkier, not chunkier, clunkier in my person. I still think the controls are a little clunky, um, but it's, it's still definitely better, especially when you pick the right stances that you're comfortable with. But yeah, for the most part, it's, it's all right. I've gotten pretty far in it. I beat chapter one i don't know how in the each chapter is very long i don't know how many chapters there are i'm assuming there's not that many if chapter one was very very long because i only finished it probably like two nights ago and i didn't get to really play it that much ever since but i did end up going around making characters i ended up making obviously you can see harna uh light who will be the blade twin obviously we had maiko at the beginning and shine um i ended up making ayaka and Az azura who are light's um parents in the lore had them as blade twins. There was somebody else. Oh, Hitomu as well. I ended up making her. So if I ever do stream this every once in a while, more often, I'll probably change it up every once in a while and change up the characters. But for now, since I thought, you know what? I made Harna. 
She looks great despite the, the lack of like multiple markings, but she's at least got one going on for each cheek. So I classify that as a win. Olivia, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome. Hope you're doing good. But yeah, so I decided to just say screw it. I'm gonna go ahead and just I'm gonna just go ahead and use this Arna. Uh, I do obviously have like different versions of her. I have her one with this out with this hairstyle, which is the one I use in Wolong for her. And then obviously we have the the typical ponytail that we have for Harna as well. There's a lot. It has been a hot minute since I really like talked about or introduced any of my characters. So and I always feel like these games, like this game, Dynasty Warriors and Empires, or anything that really has like a good character creator, uh, is a good excuse to be able to go ahead and like show them off more and everything like that maybe talk about them and everything yeah just 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 take this as like a nice little chill stream and everything we're just chill and vibing as i'm going through the game because it's definitely been an addiction for now for me i haven't really uh i haven't really dropped the game even though it was like i was seeing so many amazing like creations on 2k and i'm like oh i really need to hop on the game and download that stuff but then i'm like well let me tell you, let me play a little bit of ronin first and then i end up playing ronin for the entire night so it it's it's been a little bit since I've done it, so I'm just I'm just I've just been playing this nonstop, and I've really been enjoying the story. Um, I don't think it's like the most groundbreaking of storytelling, but it's still I'd say it's really good still, really like it. And the, and the fact that you can go back and like go back into the timeline and like choose a different path if you so desire is also really cool, which is something I kind of want to experiment. Don't know if I'll do it to, today on stream. Maybe I'll do it later, but we'll see. Basically, without giving too much, um, just in case, warning, there will be spoilers. I am past chapter one. I'm sure some people are already done with the game. I'm sure there's plenty of people that are already finished it. Uh, I've just been taking my time with it. I've been doing like as much side content as I can. So I've, I've just been kind of chilling out, hanging out, and just enjoying the ride so far. In that case, I also did stick with the English dub. The English dub isn't honestly that bad. It's not the most groundbreaking dubbing, because it is Koei Tecmo English dubbing. Let me rephrase that. Modern day Koei Tecmo English dubbing, because for some reason, I can't remember the reason behind it. I keep forgetting, but uh, they aren't really on good terms with like the most well-known voice actors, or more well-established, I'll say, voice actors. Study the sword. Oh, I didn't see him doing that. Did he just did he just do the, the RVD rolling thunder on me? Damn. Oh, he does it twice, you bitch. Yeah, he's doing the ro the rolling thunder on me. Oh shit. Oh, I got him that time. What's up, Grim? Welcome up, you're doing good. Wait, did did I do that? Oh, okay, he did lose some. What the fuck? Okay, I guess I'm fighting two people now. Ooh, there we go. Oh, he's almost done. All right, I'll have to deal with this, this the random big samurai here. I will still say though, I feel like the 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 dodging, rolling, whatever is. Feels very useless in this game. That was just poorly timed. I'm gonna eat this. Thing. Oh my god! Ooh, I actually forgot that. All right. Yeah, since we're using wooden weapons, it's just not the bonks. But yeah, I'm by no means like good at this game, so I've no more. Like I said, I've been going back and forth between Dawn and I like how he got so much smaller now because he's not an enemy. Enjoy your victory over the great Tanetsuku Oishi. It won't happen again. I was undefeated for decades until I lost to Master Odani. I will show that old man in the end. And I will show you too. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Good for you. Huh. That's what I like to hear. Nah, he seems competitive, so I'm assuming he wants me to be competitive with him too. Even though I just met him, so I don't really have the relationship with him yet. He's out training by the riverbank, not far from here. You go and see him. Now I've been man I've been managing to, to to like identify like at what point there's different voices and everything. Sh Shimada sounded like uh, a bit like Jin from uh, Ghost of Tsushima, Lord Sakai. Like he he had a very similar like voice to him there, like tone of voice. Huh, interesting. Ooh, I got good wooden katanas now. Hold on. So yeah, now I'm in uh, now I'm in Edo. Uh, I was originally I think like somewhere else. I remember Yokohama and everything, but now I'm uh, now I'm a parent. Now I'm back. Now I'm in Edo, which is where we left where I left off last. Uh, I've been doing quite a few things here, and uh, to put it in at least in like quick perspective of what's been going on since I last played on stream at least, because it has been a hot minute. Um, for the most part, right now, um, I ended up obviously meeting my blade twin. I can't, I don't I don't think I did that on stream. So I ended up meeting my blade twin. They're alive. They're uh they're they're helping they're helping the uh the Murricans for the time being. And um, I ended up and again you can go like different paths of where you like support the shogunate, and then there's other parts where you could like go like you're part of the anti shogunate. And uh, at that point, there wasn't really anything like super like game changing for the branching of paths and all that stuff. So I ended up just joining the anti one and doing that one. But I did actually go back and see and join the uh, and did the pro shogunate mission, and it didn't change anything at all, like cutscene wise and all that stuff. So there was really no change in it whatsoever. Um, one of the characters, unfortunately, is not with us anymore, which sucks. Which I really like them. Um, and then. We basically did all that. We ended up joining them, giving them something, which made which made that path happen. This looks like another duel. And after that, uh, so at the t at this moment, no, Maiko's not my blade twin. But you know, real quick, we'll just I'll just go ahead to the, I'll go back to the place real quick because it's just a chill stream. It's not like I'm really doing anything like a full blown playthrough or anything for this game on my channel. I'm just streaming it whenever I want because I'm addicted to it right now. I'm not gonna lie. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, it's up here. Okay. I'll, so like I said, I'll show off the characters that I have, that I've made so far, and I've been going back and forth with them. So technically, yes, Maiko is. I'm never gonna have. I'm never gonna play as Maiko because again, the mechanical arm. So it makes sense to have Maiko. What's up, Ara Lily? Welcome over. Doing good. And Earl of McLeese. I hope you're doing good. Uh, got a PS5. Plenty to play this game. And my character is one of uh, Matsudaira uh, Katamori daughter. Ooh. Let's see, we'll go over here real quick. Check out appearance. So this is my great value light for the time being. I got a I got a cool black bang going on for him, per, just like how he is. I can't like again you can't like flip stuff. So I would because I would have had his bang on the other side, but again I don't think there's any like flipping of anything in this. So there's at least light there, and of course the the harna. But if you want to check out where is it here? Uh, like I said, I did have Shine. Here I can show. Obviously we had Shine, the one we started off with. There's Maiko, who will be primarily only the Blade Twin. Itomu, without glasses, because they don't have glasses. Harna with the ponytail, so just the regular old Harna. Azura, looks better in Wolong, in my opinion, but did all right with what I could do. Ayaka, his wife, AKA Light's mom. And then adult Harna. And then Nozomu. Who I had, who I was playing for a little bit, since Maiko is like his opposite in a way. So I had him be the playable character when I was playing a little bit, and then Maiko was my uh, my blade twin. So technically, she's still there. But for now, I just want to actually. See, I, I never got to see any of the, the the guy voice lines for the game, so that's why I decided screw. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, we can discard what I did. Oh yeah, just in case anyone's curious, if you're if you're a Neo One fan, you can also recreate uh, William because William actually is a preset that you can do in this game. All right, let's go back over here. Bump, bump. Also, I very I very rarely use the fast travel, only when I'm like something like that, because I actually want to. Because there are some little side objectives that you can do. Again, 
like Ghost of Tsushima, where you can just ride around and everything, and uh, you'll sometimes get some side objectives to do. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out, to be honest. I was like, oh, these are actually not too bad. Are they, are they perfect? No, by no means. And I always will say, Light's hair is going to be impossible to make in any of these video games. I feel like in any video game in general, including... Damn, bro, you are short! Short king! Damn! Finally a Koei PS5 exclusive. I'm... Like, I've been, I've been kind of whatever about it. Like, I'm not someone who, like, worries too much about that whole thing of, like, oh, it needs to be, like, a newer gen exclusive. Because there's a lot of friends that just don't have a PS5 or a PC-only gamers. I'd like it to be able to where, like, people are able to play on any, like, either a PS5, 4, or PC. For me, personally. Uh, for anyone who is happy that it's PS5 exclusive, don't worry, I'm not raining on your parade. Little man, big ambition. It was nigh time you arrived. Oh, it's Odani again. I'm Nobutomo Odani. Yeah, I just heard about you. Man you've been looking for. Yeah, yeah. I, I see. So, you've bested Hachiro and Yeah, I really I would absolutely get it again for Steam and uh play with friends if they get it on PC. What's up, Odochi? Welcome up, you're doing good. Um It's an honor. Humility is a virtue. Even among those who write their names in history's pages, fortune favors the humble, while arrogance cries in lack of PS5. Only misfortune. Enough talk. It's time you showed me how well you handle a blade. It's not even, I kind of shrunk down Harna. I appreciate uh, the compliment for Harna, but I actually like, I put her down quite a bit. Actually, I know I made this one a bit taller since she's grown up, but this guy's just short. <laughs> I'm actually, at, she's actually at average height. He's just small. It's his age. He's, he shrinks when you, you shrink when you get older, you know? I'm, I'm totally just saying random shit here. Oh, he's got like an actual kendo stick. Okay, that was pretty cool. Oh, I thought that was too early. Might be a difficulty thing. Oh, I got stunned. Rip. Yeah. Five four guy versus a five four girl. Yeah, in this in this timeline, Harna is just tall girl because she's strong samurai. Nah. Yeah, playing some Ronin on the rise. Bro, hitting me with the freaking like Dragon Ball Z after image shit. Nah. I definitely will want to also go back into this game and play it on like the harder difficulties and everything. Or at the very least when I get just more familiarized with the controls. Which at this point you would think I would be, but I'm still not. Sorry, I'm like inside you, man. Sorry about that. What's my take on the Star Wars Battlefront collection? Uh, definitely showed that it was just a lazy ported cash grab. Yeah, I think they change in battle. They make the enemies bigger in battle. That's what it looks like. Because that other guy that we saw, the big samurai. What was his name? Oshiri, I think it was. Or something like that. Um, he was definitely bigger. But when we got into the cutscene, he was way smaller. It's very weird. Um, Did you throw the match? Oh, you're a sharp one. Not oh, he was going easy on me. That. The truth is, I've already begun my service to the shogunate at Kaishu's request. As an instructor to any swordsman he can gather. I think it's just to give it, like, the still, like, Neo slash uh, Dark Souls vibe. Where, like, every boss has to be 
bigger than you for some stupid reason. I don't know why, but I feel like that's the vibe they go with with it. Because he definitely seemed kind of taller when when we actually got into the fight. Um, you seem close to Katsu. Well, I can hardly refuse my cousin, can I? I plan to turn him. Arnold looking good in the thumbnail. Appreciate it. My dojo. But Did you notice the thinker of Dragon Ball passed away at the beginning of this month? I was hearing it from others on YouTube. Yeah, I heard. Nah, I just appreciate it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be a wet blanket on this guy. Well, in any case, I'll do what I can. Rest assured, you are in. Wondering when the right time for a, to get a PS5 for a PS4 owner. Um. It's tough, because you could always just be like, well, you're just waiting on that one game. <laughs> Damn, he's short as fuck even here. Um, it's it's most, it's most really just a matter of perspective. Like, you, you any honestly, any time would be a good one to get it. I know they're also, what, I think they were thinking of get, making, like, a new PlayStation 5, like a better, like a slim version or something. Or if they did already, they did it. I'm not sure. Or, like, a PS5 Pro version or something. So... You know, it, it could always do it whenever something like that happens, or something else down the road. Who knows? It's just a matter of just when you feel it's best. It's a personal thing. Slim just came out, and uh, Pro got announced for the holiday season. Oh, yeah, there you go. Unless it does something extremely game-changing, I don't really see any point to get one. I never even got, like, a PS4 Pro. I had a basic bitch PS4 my entire time. Yay, look at my horse. Look how majestic it is. The stallion. So beautiful. It's just a matter of if you, whenever you want it or if you feel it's it's necessary. But I, I never bothered getting a PS4 Pro. I never even bothered getting a, like, a, not a Series X. I do have a Series X because uh, my Xbox One S was running bad. I never got, like, an X Xbox One X. The One X. I did get a Series X just because I just felt like it was time. I got a PS5 already, so I was like, I might as well get an Xbox Series X. And uh, I love it. It's a great console. Both of them are great consoles in their own right. But um, it was. But I got it really. I got it really late on. Oh, that's yep. I was about to say that's a player, not a player. Like it's an NPC player, technically. Someone else's thing got caught on the door. Rad. Exotic. If I were in this game, I might go with Pro Shogunate. Uh, her name is Lady Matsudaira, daughter of Matsudaira Katamori. He's at chest level, which is good for him. Hey, hang on a minute now. Harna wouldn't let that happen. I, I see what you're getting at. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Harna won't get to that. Yeah, someone pointed it out with this outfit specifically, and like it's another outfit too. Like the, it really, you can really see like you can actually see the difference for the chest levels and everything. There's another outfit that was also brought up. I never, I didn't show it yet, but I think I had it at, during the game. This one. It really does show that, like, oh, okay, so the option three for the chest definitely shows off better when you're wearing one of these outfits. I just like the outfit in general. I always like to opened up uh, robe or kimono, whatever this is. Uh, you could sort of run people over, but they won't. Like, they'll just like move out of the way. You can uh, have cops on you though. You can you can assault people and you get cops on you. The cloth or sadashi. Okay. I have a PS4 Pro. Yeah, I, I, my PS4, collecting dust right now, but since you can run PS4 games on the PS5, which is awesome. Um, and if you do, also another fun thing that uh, is also pretty cool. If you still have a PS4 game and you don't want to use a PS5 controller, so, you know, you just don't wear it out. You can still use a PS4 controller with it, but you can only use it for PS4 games, not PS5 games. So bittersweet at the end of the day. Grand Theft Auto shugging it, yeah. GTA heat level six from swinging at air. I'm still tight that that happened. I got arrested. I was getting. I was gonna get arrested or killed simply because I was just swinging my freaking uh, my my spear around just to test it out. And they were like, "You can't do that. It's against the law. You were insulting somebody." I'm like, "Who am I insulting?" But yeah, they also made it as well. Obviously, as you can see, they do give you like wooden weapons as well. You can actually use this, and uh, it'll make it to where nobody dies. So you'll even have, whenever you try to do like assassination like things, as long as you have this weapon out, 
they'll per you'll have a different animation where you kind of put them like in a sleeper hold and you just knock them out uh, instead of like snapping their neck completely and all that stuff and just some other little things here and there. And uh, you'll see there, and you'll know that they're not dead because their body will actually move around still in pain. When you use a regular katana or any like you know non wet non wooden weapon, because you can use like a wooden weapon version of like any of these weapons, like the spear, uh, the naginata, the great sword, which I just got, I think. If you use the blade, you, they're just motionless dead, and they'll also probably be uh, decapitated. With um, with the wooden weapon, they don't lose any like body parts, obviously, and they actually s technically stay alive because they're unconscious. So if you want to go like a little like bit of a like a pacifist route. I don't think it does anything for you. But if you ever want to be like, you know, like character of cool, like attention to detail character for you. Like my character doesn't kill people. So you use a wooden katana. And you also get stronger versions of the wooden katana as you go. So the level, the, the damage will still go up over time. Which is, again, really cool. I think I'll also one thing I noticed too. Which is very funny. Oh shit. Hey, where are you going? Better suck it, swing it. Come on, get him! I gotta get off the horse. Where you going, pal? No petty thieves getting away from me. Where you going? Oh, too early. Oh yeah, you can also fight barehanded if you so desire to. I did it, and it's actually kind of fun. Gave me, uh, give me Ishin vibes. Here, I'll show real quick. Oh. Ooh. Wait, I'm wanted? For what? What did I do? I stopped the thief! But you should know I only steal for the sake of the poor. So cut me some slack, will you? You you could have told me that. <laughs> Promise you'll go easy on me next time, eh? Alright. Oh, there's a cop on me. So you can see on the top right, you're you can get wanted. Uh I forget how to get rid of it though. Are you gonna like easy? Too early. I'm sorry, I didn't want to do that to you. I'm out of here. Yeah, apparently beating up a thief will uh, get you wanted for some stupid reason. The crazy move of all time, the headbutt. I don't remember how to get rid of it, honestly. I think there's probably something here in the, in the guide that tells you, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, explore maybe? Yeah, we'll just figure it out. Oh, I think it was literally right there. I'm stupid. I could have just looked. Yeah. Uh, after your one level has maxed out, you'll be temporarily pursued by peacekeeping authorities. So it doesn't actually say how to get rid of it. Okay, well, I'm just going to assume that'll go away at some point. No, unfortunately, it's a PlayStation exclusive. So it's, and it's only on PS5 as well. Okay, it's going away. Okay. I'll wait. Good angle on Horna there. Okay. Alright, so let me actually check the objectives because I have not done that. Um oh right, I forgot about uh Princess Atsuko. God damn. Yeah, no, this outfit's very, uh, very generous for her. And there's also the, all these, like, side things here. You can also take pictures of certain landmarks, too. Which I'll probably try to do every once in a while. And these are, like, the side objectives. And you, you need to do some conditions in order to get it, too. And then these are, like... I think there's, like, mostly companion ones. And then these are, like, your main, like, story objectives here. But, uh, I've been doing so many of the stuff. I am over-leveled for most of these. So these haven't really been too bad. Um, let's go ahead and do a side mission, honestly. Let's do, uh, we'll do the mummy. That sounds pretty cool. The mummy returns. I can't remember if that movie was actually good or not. The mountain peaks are lovely this time of year. My god. Oh, 
sorry, I was looking at Discord. I keep getting added. People going live and shit. Stops crime becomes wanted. Very corrupted police force. Uh, you kind of see that every once in a while. These police are not very kind in this game. So you can actually probably give that argument that uh, you'd probably be right. Wrong button. Even just swinging at the air, it will, that'll classify as like the GTA shoot the gun. Even though you're shooting it at nobody, you're still like shooting, so you're wanted. That's basically the same thing in this game. If you do that near a police officer, they'll be like, "Oh, you're a, you're you're a criminal." I'm like, "What? I just was practicing my my weapon." GTA, I get it, cause it's a gun. Like swinging a sword around when no one's around except for the police who are like 50 feet away from me. They're like, "Oh, that's illegal." I'm like, "All right, well, I guess I'm wanted now." F me. Just some random dude. Nice, uh, nice hat. Oh yeah, you can also have the option where you can have the headgear on or not. The headgear doesn't look too great with this with his hairstyle. Uh, if I had the one that was just straight down hairstyle, Harna, I would have done that. But uh, since I don't, I'm just gonna be using just this hairstyle. Grand Theft Shogun. Uh, I don't know why I got off my horse. I'm not really that close yet. I was further away than I thought. Yeah, this whole area feels like sometimes a goddamn maze. Oh yeah, another cool thing. Uh, for <laughs> Dynasty Warriors Nine fans, you can you can do auto running on horseback. Yay! And sometimes it's still stupid because it just made me pause for no reason. And she's gonna stop again because she's walking. Oh 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 oh! Hey, there she goes. She learned. She learned. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to run you over. All right, I'm here. For stopping you like that, I promise it's for a good reason. Also, I have the, the, the curtains out of the way, and the sun is like reflecting off of one of the windows, and I am getting blinded by the sun right now. That is like reflected off of this window. Not even gonna lie, I don't have anything planned for Friday, so this might it might just be more of this or um, maybe more supermarket. It's probably gonna be one of the two. I haven't even made any plans this weekend. Because, uh, I just didn't bother. Um, have we met before? Heavens! <laughs> I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? No, you have not. Rude. I'm just your average informed citizen. I love to write down whatever I see and hear. Why else do I have two gotcha games on my phone? I've got a book series out. I'm very, that's one thing I'm kind of happy that I got stopped doing was playing gotcha games, because... In any case... There were times where I just couldn't help myself, and I'm like, my wallet. Think you can get them for my Havilist friend? Not to the point where I was like, I'm poor because of gotcha games. Like, I'm just like, why am I spending money? Obviously, there's a lot of gotcha games where you can just like play the games without spending money. But if there's one, I was like, oh, it's so cool. I'm like, why am I getting something that I'm only gonna have temporarily? It was kind of dumb. I've written down the materials here on this paper. Yo. In the meantime, I'll ask the herbalist for more details. Okay. Bitch, you didn't tell me it was a fucking fetch mission. There better be some action on this thing. Oh, sorry, I got like no sleep last night, so I'm very mellowed out right now. This is just a big old vibe. Yeah, it's true. And then there's also my dumbass pay paying money on Fortnite skins. So I'm not even. I'm still not doing any better. <laughs> Which I will probably be playing actually this weekend. Maybe I'll do that for this weekend. One of the weekend streams. Play some Fortnite. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't make any fucking plans this weekend. I was. I was too. I was just too out of it to even bother anymore. Oh, when those Avatar skins drop, I'm definitely at least getting... If, if Zuko's going to be an option, I'm definitely getting Zuko. What's the plot? Uh, so, so mostly right now, it's... Uh, at least when you start off, um, you have a blade... You have a part... You, you can make two characters in this game. One which is... Uh, obviously, you can see here I had made Harna, and then another one was... Is your blade twin. At, at the beginning of the game, it's like, oh, you get to play as both the characters. And you, you actually do. You get to play as both your characters that you create. So one was... When I first played it... Oh, I do get some action. Let's go. Um, so first off, what you get to do is, uh, like I said, make the characters, then you do, like, some training and everything, then you get to duel your blade twin to train, 
and then um, I think you tr and then you duel your master, and then you actually go out on a mission. Um, then you get to play side by side with your blade twin. Um, that's when you eventually though get like split up. They you, the last time you see them is when their arm gets ripped off, uh, or cut off, I should say, not ripped off, but like cut off. And then you basically play as your protagonist character. You get to make the choice as well, like which character you play as, which character is your protagonist. They technically let you have two options, I think. Technically, because they're like they let you pick the character that you start off the game with, and then um, once you get to that mission where you have to split up, like one technically has to be like air quote sacrificed. Um, you get to pick the protagonist while the other one while you you have to leave your blade twin behind. To the last thing you see is them getting their arm cut off. And bleeding out. And then you get shot. Then you end up in Yokohama. Um, run around. Meet some people. And then a lot of it's... So it's it's kind of like multiple kind of things put together in one. But they but they all like meet in the same kind of like direction in a way. They all have the same end goal at the end of the day. So you as the character... Like you have like other things going on. But your main objective is still to find... It's like find and like figure out more about your blade twin and everything. But then there's also people who are, like, against the Shogunate because of, like, you know, the Americans coming into Japan. The French are now in Japan. The British are in Japan and all that stuff. I don't know when this is in, the in like, history stuff. If Americans are brought up into this. I legit have no idea. I'm, I haven't really, like, delved too deep into knowing that. But um, I'm guessing all three of them are together. Yeah, so the last three are right here. Oh, somebody right there, too. Meiji Restoration. I'll check your word on that, because I have no fucking clue, personally. Hey, did you see that? You're next. Oh, that's right. If I run up close enough, I can get the... Yeah! Oh, he lived. Shit. Why you live? Oh, yeah. There's also another feature in this game that I keep forgetting to do. It's in Neo. Uh, where it's like if you hit a button as soon as you finish your comboing. So like oh, I love this stance, it's so good. If you finish something and then hit R1 at the right time, you get your key back. This is when the West forced Japan to open up in the early 1800s. Yeah. Thank you. So there's there's moments where again you get to like make the choice. You kind of befriend both sides. Because you're kind of a neutral party and you're just going for what you personally think is right. So you can either kind of be like pro foreigners or just full blown pro Japan who are against the shogunate. So it's really up to you at the end of the day. Again, some things like it, there are some points where like your decisions don't matter. What will it be? I don't even know what I was getting, bro. I, am I getting these persimmons? <laughs> is that what I was getting? I ain't got no goddamn clue. I was not paying attention. Please come again. Yep, okay, I got I had to gather five of those. Okay. Now I still need the purified salt, which is this way. At least we get some combat during these fetch quests. That's good. Cause I hate fetch quests where it's just like, go grab this, and then you do with no action. It's like, oh. My favorite anime is Roroni Kenshin. Uh, I know Meiji uh, more than my own country. You know what? Fair. Very fair. But yeah, like I said, there's there's like a whole faction that like are against the Shogunate and there's like one person that you can work alongside that is like pro Shogunate. And then eventually they're like, never mind. <laughs> so there's there uh, from time to time it's like, okay, so you do this and you're like, you're technically for them or against them. But eventually it still leads to the same like, uh, to the same ending of uh, that whole scenario. Sometimes. There is actually something else that can be... I, I want to try out that I'm so, so tempted to actually like try right now, but... Maybe I'll wait till all these other objectives are done. Because it, it looked like very important decision making, but I don't know if it was going to lead to like me doing something there. Like me doing something uh, different from what I'm doing right now is what I mean. Ooh, there is a formidable opponent nearby. Oh, shit. There we go. There's a politician named Okubo who has... Crazy facial hair that every anime gets down. <laughs> Alright, where's the enemies at? Where are the punks? Oh, there we go. 
Oh, obviously where the freaking smoke and fire is. That makes sense. Alright, so there's five enemies, which means one of them is... Oh, I can save somebody. Oh, wait, no, I don't think... Yeah, no, this is it. Okay. Let me wait for that guy to leave. Okay. Let me grab this guy. Yeah, sometimes you also have this where I'm assuming these are, like, other people's characters, I think. And they can, uh, they can be saved or they can even help you against the enemies. Also, if they're, if they're low enough level, you can just one-shot them by killing them by snapping their neck with assassinations and all that, too. Okay, yeah, so I'm assuming no one in, in Japan in the 1800s was called Mac and Crack. So, I'm gonna assume that that is uh, a curated character. Alright. Also, the guys who are usually, like, the special enemies are pretty... Okay, it's not the dog, but it is a high-ranking dog. Oh, yeah, you can also tame the dogs, and, and if you get it to a high enough level, you can actually have them fight for you, which is really cool. I'll try to do that, but I'm not giving any promises. Oh, you're right. Yep, there's the enemy that I need to take out. And he's a wanted man, so he's gonna be a boss. We got a boss fight in this, too. Mac and Crack, I'm not gonna lie, you scared the shit out of me. You can't confirm or deny that. It's true. Maybe Matt, maybe someone actually did go like a little crazy one night and called themselves Mac and Crack. Maybe that's their new alias after, uh, you know, maybe being for or against the Shogunate. Alright, I don't think I'll be able to get this dog, unfortunately, since the guy's standing right in front of- Actually, wait! I might actually have an idea. Because as you get further into the game, if I go to my sub-weapons here, I'm just gonna get rid of the folks. The- yeah, so you can shoot somebody in the fucking head. If you have the wooden katana out, it doesn't kill them. I'm not even joking. It's really funny. They're just like, you can shoot them right in the head. And they're like, oh, what happened? You're shooting like non-lethal rounds. Why did the dog turn the other way? Oh yeah. Also, if you try to use that that ability, that like item that makes it to where you can see enemies, the dogs actually can react to it, but they they can't. Yeah, rubber bullets. You know, that's fair. Fuck, which way is he looking? Well, now I definitely can't get him. I didn't think he was going to go. Yeah, the dog's mine. For the time being, until it dies. This guy could probably kill him. I got the dog. Now the dog's my friend. Ugh. Ah, I, got the, I messed up on the last one. That was way too early on my part. Doggo companion unlocked. Oh, I just realized I'm not even using the right stance against this guy. Ah, I'm using... Now I got the my favorite stance. Now he, he's done. He's cooked. This thing does, does so many hits, it's insane. Ooh. Little supply depot? Is for me? I don't even know if that was actually for the objective. I might actually move my curtains because this shit's blinding the hell out of me right now. Hang on, give me a second. I'm actually like getting blinded right now. That's clearly the reason I'm dying so much. Uh, let me see. That actually did. Okay, cool. I was gonna put my curtain. I was just gonna put my curtain down, but I still want to be able to see the sunlight. Just not, you know, in my eye. Oh, the st yeah, this stance, this stance here, the uh, Aisu Kage Ryu, is actually really cool. Probably just butcher the name, but you know. Oh, oh yeah, and then they'll, and then the people that you save during those things, they'll just chill out somewhere where you liberated the area. No one messes with the wonderful Mac and Crack. Did Bro even do anything though? Western-inspired wear. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'll wear it. Looks pretty cool. I wish they had, like, accessories, though, that you could use for, like, glasses or something. Also, this is a cool outfit, too. I like the white. This doesn't really suit Harna that much. I could probably use this for some inspiration for some of my characters, honestly. Some of these outfits. Oh, yeah, a shrine dog! You also see these dogs, and you get to pet them. It's other people's shrine dogs. They'll go off to shrines and get some items for you. But if you end up doing that, you get reimbursed or something. Or they get reimbursed. And I think you also get reimbursed for helping them. Just literally by giving them a pet. It's so cute. I have one myself. 
It's so cool. They literally this game is peak because they allow you to uh, not kill the dogs if you can help it. Like I saved that. Like I, I petted the wolf and he was like, "Oh, you're my friend now." I'm like yeah. And then we also have shrine dogs that you get to see just all over the map sometimes. It's super cool, and you can just pet them and they'll. Uh, and uh, I think they said it like reimburses both the person, both that person and your person, because it's like helping the dog get to its destination. So people are technically doing that for my dog too, which is really cool. Yeah, it's a nice looking, uh, nice outfit. I like this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, like seriously, there really is just so much doggo love. It's awesome. All right, so I don't think there was actually any like enemies. Hang on, let me get out of here real quick so I can see where that thing is. Um, okay, so it shows it's right in that direction. Ma'am? No? Alright. Not sure where to go for this one. I suppose it's like right there by that house, but it could just be like that vicinity. But it looks like it's showing like this particular like building. Hello, ma'am. I would like some some purified salt, please, if you even sell it. I don't know why I'm bothering you. Sorry, I just completely. No, you know what? Never mind. I just ruined your whole pottery there. I am so sorry. I'm not paying for that shit though. Like, how big's the circle? Oh, yeah, because we liberated an area that does that, yeah. Um, so, okay, it's... Let me just set a marker there so I know where the center of it is. Okay. That will help. I'm not entirely sure where I'm looking. Where I'm supposed to be looking. Like I said, it keeps showing that house there. Oh, that might do it. That's those are enemies. I think I found my destination. I am just ruining this person's livelihood. I am so sorry. Hey, it looks a lot cleaner though. You're welcome. All right, now I know where to go. So now I'm actually gonna ignore that guy right there and go for the guy who's got the bow instead. Aerial assassination. Ah, shit! He noticed me. Now he's got a bow. I think I need to change the stance because this stance isn't actually great. Um, I'll do this one. The Neo Ryu. All right, let's get on the ship. Maybe that's what I needed to do. I'm assuming this was where I needed to be. Oh. Oh, did he have it on him? Ah, he had the salt on him. Now we can head back. Thought there was a guy like imprisoned in there. Yeah, this game is just like very action packed, but also just a, a nice little vibe. It really is just like I said, it honestly feels a bit more of a casual Ghost of Tsushima. Because I feel like Tsushima still feels like more fun with its combat. Again, this combat's still not bad. It's not it's not great. It's fun, but it's not great. But I'd still say it's a fun time. And, like I said, it's just pretty casual where you can just ride around and just enjoy the views and everything. Again, same with Tsushima. It's mostly just like Tsushima mixed in... I think some people mentioned Sekiro. I haven't played Sekiro, so I always just compare it to Neo. Obviously, since it is from the same devs. And I don't know who did Sekiro at all. Nor have I played Sekiro yet. Maybe one day, but I'm not in any rush to. I'll probably watch a playthrough of Sekiro, though. Because it always looked cool, but I was like, I don't know if I have the patience for it. Also, you can gallop your horse too and go even faster. Oh shit. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah, it is. 
The thing with this uh, stance is that the, the countering is a little strange, and you can't do any like follow-up triangle attacks with it either. God damn it, I can't chain triangle. All right, I finally get out of that stance, thank God. I go after base sword next. You fool, you've now run into my favorite stance. Oh, that was weird. Oh yeah, I can do this. Woohoo! <laughs> Yeah, when you stun them, you can use your uh, your grapple hook and just swing them around, hit other enemies or walls. That sucks for you. Them? Of course not. I've never seen them before in my life. They must have mistaken me for somebody else. In any case. I knew that you were strong, but you've surpassed my expectations. Clearly, my eyes did not deceive me. But where are my manners? <laughs> this is my herbalist friend I was telling you about. Did you bring me the persimmons and salt I asked for? Thank you. I know it's not much, but please accept this as payment. Indeed. Which reminds me, Sudo, you may write about it in your diary. And tell your future readers to dig me up someday. Certainly. Certainly. I'll definitely include that. Okay. And let me thank you also for your hard work. As bread always falls by the side down, you can be sure we'll meet again. Okay. Can't trust to do it that hairstyle. Yeah, it wasn't actually as interesting as I thought, but the word mummy definitely got me like, oh, and it didn't really turn out all that much, so. A shifty merchant wants uh, help acquiring goods. A thief you let go is looking for help. Oh, this was someone I let go? Okay. I'll check that out. Is that the one I actually went after uh, earlier? The one who says he takes, from the, he takes from the rich and gives to the poor or whatever? Or, I don't even know if he mentioned he takes from the rich, but he did say he gives to the poor. Let's see if it's the same dude. I think this is a fully clothed uh, thief or ninja or whatever. His face was covered up. Only his eyes, I think, were exposed. I'll do one more side mission, then I'll go do the main missions. I don't know how to get over there. Oh, actually, I know how to get over there. Like this. Can I just do that anywhere? Oh, I can do it anywhere. I thought I had to be on actually like one of these. Okay. It'll at least point me in the right direction. No, keep going. I wanted to fucking stop. I saw that. Yep. Go. Oh, where are they going? Oh, sorry. How many times has auto run failed me? I'd probably say probably twice. Not too many times. I don't know. I don't know what the reason behind it is. Also, the only downside of auto run, I can't. I can't give like any control to it whatsoever. Uh, if I even try to tilt it once, it stops the auto run. And uh, the only thing that's kind of funny and I feel a little bad about is with people like carrying things. My horse does, Harna doesn't give a shit and she'll just run through them. Either my horse or Harna, one of them, or both, just don't give a fuck and they'll just go straight in the middle of the road and just run people over because they do not care. Oh, another area there. Another place that needs liberation. Oh yeah, we'll also sometimes run in the poles and trees too, depending on if they're like in the middle of the road. There's some cops there. Oh, 
And like, and also, like I mentioned, the good thing about this game is that you can play it on the usual, on the regular difficulty, which just you know feels like a Souls difficulty, or you can play it like on normal difficulty, which I, in my opinion, is normal with uh with Dawn, or you can go go super hard mode on yourself. Oh, <gasps> dog! Gotta stop for the dog. Get off the dog! Stop! Get off the dog! Or get off the horse. <laughs> Pet the dog. Perfect. What a game. All right. Um, I could be. Able, I, I could probably find my way from here. I just need to get out of that damn maze of an area. Oh, there's another gold banner over here, actually. A wise man knows when to beat the retreat. Oh, again with this. Are you another, are you the same thief as before? Damn, dude, I just got here. Relax. You're nothing but a thief, so I won't go I won't go hard on you. I'm not using the right stance. There we go. Enough. No games. There you go. You still get to live. I know. Stop thieving. But you should know I only steal for the sake of the poor. So cut me some slack, will you? Is this the same guy? <laughs> Promise you'll go easy on me next time, eh? Oh, maybe that other thing isn't him. All right then. Never mind. Yeah, same dude. Wonder who this guy's gonna be that we're gonna run into then. Kojimachi. Ooh, a new banner. It's like all the way up there. Bump, bump. What's a new area? Oh yeah, he's uh he's all the way up there. Um uh, pretty sure this is where I go. Where do we go? I think I do this. Yep, there we go. Alright. Oh, alright. Usually when you hold R2, it's it's very lenient and it does that, but I guess not in this case. That's fine, it's fine. I'll figure it out. Oh, they even have the Leap of Faith area. Good jump, Harna. Good jump. Really, uh, really proud of you for that one. All right, third time's the charm. Who would have been good? All right, I'll actually keep an eye on it this time. There we go. Hey, been a while. Has it? Wait, wait. Maybe this is the same guy. You couldn't have appeared at a better time. There's a little something I could use your help with. As I mentioned before, I share the money I steal with the people. But it just isn't enough to make a real difference. So I can So it is the same guy I just caught earlier. Sneak inside yeah, so some of these like little objectives that you find in the on the road, you can actually come in they can actually be turn into a uh, full blown quest, so well, Whenever you run into something, make sure you do it. It's for a good cause. Great. When you're ready, we'll use the cover of darkness to do our work. Always make sure you do it. I'm guessing it's probably the gold ones, because there were some gold ones in Yokohama, too. Those gold banners, I think, turned into quests as well, like full-blown quests like this. I guess we're just uh we're just going in. Is bro coming with me, or am I doing this by myself? I'm gonna assume it's by myself. For someone talking very quietly, you have a very distinctively loud voice. 
It's I can feel the presence from here. All right, so I'm guessing I should do this without killing it, but. Buddy? Oh, there you are. You uh, you teleported and then fell like an idiot. There's another banner in here. Now, it doesn't say I can't kill anybody, but we're just being thieves here. And just to make sure that I don't cause, that they don't cause any trouble for me in the future, I wouldn't do that. He sunk into the thing. But yeah, now he's, since I'm holding my wooden sword, he still moves. He should take notes from Hanzo. Uh, oh, get down. Roby's sleeping, I can hear him. Or snoring. Come on, Harna. For obvious reasons, this gives me very big Tenchu Z vibes, just like infiltrating these like these kind of like like estates and everything. I remember playing with my buddy and doing all these uh things on Tenchu Z. Even hiding in these tall grasses, like you'd have to like hide your scent and everything. You'd go in from like the ceiling and like there was little areas you can go in where you can like go inside. I miss Tenchu as well. That should get like a remaster or something, in my personal opinion. Lou? Only you? Well, in that case, go to sleep. Even though you were already asleep, go to sleep. In hindsight, since he was already asleep, I didn't really need to do that. But just in case, wanted to make sure so I can get some loot for myself. This can't be hard. Let's touch the other room. Oh, so these are things I probably actually have to check. Okay. Be yeah, attention was super awesome. Being able to play with like what three or three, or f two or three other people was really cool. I don't remember how I don't remember how many players it was. Because usually I was just with my friend, but I think it was three players, three or four. I think it was three. Granted, we only played with like every time we played, which was very late in its in its life cycle. Um, because I got it very late that game. Oh shit! Oh great, a dog. Um, we usually got like. One other person, I think. I could be wrong, though. So I'm not sure how many players Tenchu Z was. But it was a very, very fun game. Obviously, it was more stealth-oriented than, like, you know, actual combat. You could do some cool combos in that, or do some, like, cool moves in that game. And small little combos. But it was mostly meant for, uh, for your stealth, obviously, since it was an assassination-type game. At least Tenchu Z itself was. And the opening song for it was just super cool, too. Damn, what a game. Okay, so there's two dudes chilling here. Yeah, one there and one there. And then there's a dog and some guy holding a lantern outside. Okay. Uh, Actually, is there a box in there? That might help out a little bit. I don't think there is. No. Boom. I got the song in my head. I want to get back up on the roof. It's such a great vantage point there. I can see everything. Gotta get in there. Go, 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 go. Now right, we're good. Come on, dog. Turn around. What the dog doing? Wrong button. Almost ruined that. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Ah, they saw me. That's alright. It's not Tenchu Z, so this, this is still fine. I just wanted to see if I could do it stealthy. What's up, Brandon Smith? Welcome over. Doing good? And now the dog will fight for me. What the dog do? Hey, 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 you better not. Oh, you bitch. Oh, hell no. You're lucky I'm so merciful. That should have been death right there. How dare you hurt a dog? How dare you? Oh, bro's only got his hands. I imagine the blood off of a wooden weapon would not go off so easily. Well, the dog's just gonna chill there, I think, now. Oh, never mind. It's still running with me. Oh, I see. This is probably where the treasure is. Yep. As soon as I saw this build, this building is literally just storehouse every single time. I absolutely could have done this without killing anybody 
Or not. Well, I didn't kill anybody, technically. I knocked them out. Since I have the wooden sword out. Didn't look like anything, like, super amazing. This looks like a get. The armor. Alright. Let's just do it. Let's blow this joint. Alright, if you say so. There's gonna be somebody out here, isn't there? He's gonna be spawned right in front of this door. Watch. Nope, just the dog. Never mind. We're good. I wanna get back up on the roof, but it doesn't look like there's any way to get back up on the roof. Oh, you know what? I think I know why. I'm not leaving without that armor. It belongs to the Creed. Yeah, yep, I knew it. I'm still gonna have to fight somebody. Alright, let's do it. Are they all planned to be there? Yeah, they're just standing there. All right. Hey, fellas. Damn, my timing is really bad. What stance am I using? Oh, that's why. I should bring. I should go over to my dog. My dog will be able to handle them. Damn, I'm always so late on that. What's up, Devere? Welcome up. You're doing good. There we go. Oh, he's the boss of the area. YouTube's drunk up the notification late. Yeah, I imagine. That's one of the bright sides of having a Discord server, is that at least people can see it like a minute or two after it uh, actually goes live. I don't trust YouTube notifications all that much. You can take my share. Thanks. I'll see that it all goes to those in need. I'll make sure everyone knows your part in it too. Currently grinding on Hell Divers too. Nice. I'm glad I had your help, my friend. Just so you know, I plan to keep on steering for the people. So if we happen to meet again on opposing sides, take it easy on me, eh? Hey? Yeah, I only ran into you twice already trying to steal from people. Maybe just steal from the right people and then I won't have any reason to hurt you, you know? You ever think of that? Right, let's go do a main quest now. I'll do the other, other quests uh, another time. Right, Cause we only have like one or two more, I think. Uh, I guess there's also her too. Uh, for the sake of the country, you uh, search for a cure uh, for the cholera outbreak. You help uh, the shogunate build up its army so that it might stand to the west. Uh, this one seems closer. Yeah, so we'll do this one, and then we'll go see the princess. Pew, pew, pew. What the fuck's going on here? Hey, buddy. Come over here, will you? Alright, dude. What's up? Got any sake? I thought I had some, but it seems I drunk it all up. Oh, I see. That's unfortunate. Am I supposed to throw that at him to get him sober? I guess I'm supposed to throw that at him to get him sober. Why would I do that though? That seems mean. He's just chilling, he's vibing. Um, can I give him anything? I mean, obviously they know I'm here. I mean, they're kind of just chilling. They're just chilling. I mean, they're not doing anything bad. One's just sleepily drunk with his arms sunken in the ground. Uh, the other guy's just kind of vibing, and this guy's just drinking an empty thing. And uh, you know what? You're good. I see what the game wants me to do. Nah, fuck it. Oh, wait, was that it? Oh. Oh, all right. I guess I sobered him up. 
I think he's on fire, but... Oh yeah, they're not enemies anymore. Alright. Stellar. Cool. Oh, this is a, uh, a pro Shogunate area. You can see on the purple. Yeah, I didn't think it was good. I guess I forget that sometimes these missions can just be super dumb and easy. Just do the dumbest thing. I thought if I did that, I would have provoked him. Which, to be fair, he almost got provoked. He was like, oh, I feel great. Never mind. Thanks. Oh, another player over here. Yep. Hazemaki. I'm kind of glad that, like, this area is, like, not, op like, GTA Online type things. Because I really feel like the, the, the people would act like GTA people. And just start beating the shit out of you just for walking past them. So I'm kind of glad that, like, a rope, like, rope dart you off the fucking, uh, off the horse and try to kill you with, like, an assassination or something. You know, it's probably for the best that these guys are, that the other characters are, uh, NPCs that you can fight. That is optional to do. I did it once, and I'm not gonna lie, they kicked my ass. I beat them, but they kicked my ass in the process. They went down swinging. And I really feel like they did more of the swinging than I did. I just got lucky. Oh, it's just a store guy. Never mind. Oh, under the dog! What's the dog doing? So this one will take you to special items, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I've ran into this kind of dog, I think, two, two, two times already, yeah. I was thinking about the two or three. What you doing, dog? Where you taking me? I'm waiting to see if one of these will eventually just be an ambush. But usually the dog takes you to a dead corpse and then they have loot on them. It was a yellow lotus. And then... Oh, wait, no, there was more to it. Bow string reel. Oh, ninja dog vanish! Also, I love that's just the way of, like, every single, like, character in the game. Like, if they get stuck on something in the, on the map, they'll just, like, throw down smoke. And then they'll just randomly teleport somewhere else on the map. Which is really funny. But it is a clever way of, like, getting out of there. Without uh, without it looking awkward, or them constantly just running into like an object. Hello, ma'am. Who are you? I don't know. Who are you? I like your little your little titty ribbons. They're uh, they're neat. I see we share the same goal, but unfortunately. Now is not the time. Um. Hmm. Is that right? Titty tassels. Simply All right. Chatting won't help matters. But since there's nobody else I can ask. I might as well share. Yeah, I'm the best you got. For be for better or worse. I studied Western medicine, and I'm researching a cure for cholera here. Those suffering with the disease cannot be ignored. Ah. But I'm yet to see much in the way of success. I've been trying to make medicine. But it all turned yeah, she's out cute. to be poison. And a deadly one to boot. It needs to be properly sealed in a container. Or poison gas will escape. Oh, that sounds terrible. The anti-shogunate folks heard about it somewhere. And came to ask me how to make it. Of course they did. They're up to no good. I'm certain. Yeah, they are. And they've been haranguing me. They already burnt life. down a whole building. All of my colleagues were terrified. And ran off. They are, uh... They they're going to some extremes. They're planning an attack. But I can't just turn my back and flee. Yeah, so my last mission... Oh, wait, no, I, like, the one before this one. I ended up, um... Needing to take out a person that the anti shogun people wanted me to do. They wanted me to, to kill him and take him out. Along with, uh, Ryoma, who was the guy you see at the beginning of the game. More laid back, kind of like Ronin. Oh, excuse me. And, uh, we did not kill him. <laughs> we actually ended up, like, joining forces with him, because he convinced us, like... I mean, they're, they're like you, basically like just to be like very blunt and nonchalant about it. He's like, 
the things they're doing is like not the right way. They're being really shitty about it. So join me and I'll do it the right way. And then we were like, okay. So we did that instead. Didn't get a choice in that. It was just something that the story made me do. Truly? Okay, please. That's wonderful news. Yeah, no problem. I get to, to make strike. my friends hate me again. Are you ready? Not really, but yeah, let's do it. The gates are blockaded. Oh, don't tell me I'm going to have to defend the fucking gate. Which means they'll likely approach from the rear. I mean, I'm counting on you. They can't just move the boards out of the way? Take care of you. Wouldn't you have rather have made it to where the doors are more push doors and then you can put the boards over there instead? That feels like stupid. I don't think they did that right with the ports. All right, so we got Ryoma and Toshimichi. Oh yeah, I and mean, this is one you can also do with like uh, people online as well. But if you don't, you can always pick like different allies from here. So I think I did this guy. Uh, I saved this guy. Oh wait, she, oh, oh, Sana, right, I forgot about her. Yeah, that's the one who likes uh, Ryoma or wants to marry Ryoma. Uh, I think she wields a Naginata. And then obviously you get like bond levels and everything too. And then some of them, obviously all these guys I think are anti-Shogunate. So, except for uh, Katsu. Yeah, Hokubo does look badass. I'll, do, I'll struggle with the AI. If things get bad, I'll try to see if I can do it online, but we'll just start with the AI. I haven't really done, I, unless there's like an empty slot for people, They're which here. there hasn't been in a long time. Whatever it takes, we can't let them destroy the lab. All right, your voice. There are jars of poison in the garden. Try throwing them at the intruders. Wait, what? Uh, okay. No problem, ma'am. You're the boss. Maybe if I just don't kill them, maybe they'll be happy with that. Oh, I see they noticed me. There you go. Alright, fuck it. I guess we're doing this. Doesn't say I have to defend anything, so maybe this is actually just a... Maybe it's just a kill all the enemy kind of thing. I'll take it. I thought I was going to have to be, like, stealthy with it, otherwise things get ruined, but I guess not. Oh, yeah, and my triangle circle is uh, letting every ally that I have with me... Uh, uh, the, all of our all of our swords go um, flamed up, like this. Okay, well it's not really able to be seen here. There we go. Just this once, I'll go ahead and kill some guys. And I think it technically also gives you like infinite uh. Infinite stamina or key. What? Where are they? I don't even see them. Oh, they're over there. Okay. Can I get on this building? Sure can't. I just jumped right into a freaking uh, poison thing. Awesome. Now I am poisoned. I don't think I have anything right now for it. Oh. Can I use it from here? Um. Oh, that's to do poison. Oh, this should be it. There we go. No more poison. I guess it makes sense that I would be also be able to hit, get hit with the poison. All right, make more of a ruckus, Harna. Jesus Christ, this stuff is everywhere. Who did it? There you go. On the house. Alright, let me change my wooden sword. Ooh, got him with it. Ryoma, don't die. 
I was also with the wrong stance anyway. There you go. Okay, never mind. Bonk. Oh, he didn't notice me yet. What a fool. Go to sleep. Thanks, man. Choke the dude out. Are these things to hide in? Oh, they are. I bet they kind of noticed a little bit where I am, but that's all right. I'm literally staring right into his soul. And he has no idea. There's the formidable enemy. That guy's just knocked out, okay. Yeah, I had to fight him. He was, he was just right there. Disadvantage with the stance and all, and I still kicked his ass. Heads up. Yeah, it does. It, like it does have a lot of like Assassin's Creed elements, Sekiro, Neo, Ghost of Tsushima. It's kind of a blend of all the games. Again, if anything, big gripe is just like the combat isn't like super fluid, which you would expect for a, like a modern day game to have, especially a game as big as this. But it has moments where it's pretty smooth, and other times where it's not really much at all. Ryoma, my guy, you are not looking good. Let's see if I can go heal you real quick. Yeah, I'm going to just touch this and see if I can heal him. I don't know if this brings back the enemies or not. Interacting with the Veil banner while I access the battle preparation menu. Okay. Yeah, I know. The, the enemies are up here. I know. There we go. Let's go rescue Ine. Wanted to get my boy Ryoma back up to speed. Oh, Jesus. All right. Oh, God. Fellas, this ain't necessary. Surely there was a better way than this. All right, fuck it. I'm going lethal. Oh, I blocked it. Wow. For some reason, my I changed my mind uh, at the very end. Changed my mind. You, these guys particularly die. Why? I don't know, but they're gonna die. Poison. Oh damn. Ow. Yeah. I will say also the fire effect on the weapons look really dope. Alright, where's the last one? Hey! Let me change my weapon up, actually. I have two katanas. I'll keep the other I'll keep the wooden katana, but I'll change up this katana. Even though the fire effect for it is super cool. There we go. Everybody healed up now. Let's change up the weapon. I don't know what I'm changing up to, though. Maybe the Naginata. I don't want it to just be another sword weapon. Oh, yeah, and of course the bayonet. I would like to be able to use this, but its attack is so bad. I think you can upgrade these weapons. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. So that's kind of on me. Mother of Pearl Polearm. All right. Mother of Pearl! Yeah, we'll rock this. Did not realize I was holding on to that. I thought I was grappling something else. Did I go backwards? I did. Threw me for a loop. Oh, chest in there. Oh, if I occasionally crouch, it's because I'm using uh, the left stick to not only sprint, but to also, like, sneak. So sometimes when I click it, it makes me crouch instead. I really like this guy. Oh, yeah, it's, like, right here. If I can get that uh, Ega thing. Leveled up. Like, upgradable. What is this? The Serpent Greatsword. That actually looks pretty cool. Actually, isn't there like a filter for this? There is. Okay. 
Thank you for your patronage. Um, I don't know which one it is, though. I don't think it even shows up here. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Weird. If I just equip it, maybe that'll make it easier. Thanks for your patronage. I like that guy. He's cool. Alright, there's my wooden greatsword. Uh, there it is. Yeah, it's just a staff. I don't know if... I don't know if this can be upgraded or not. Oh, it can! I wonder how you use it. You know, hopefully good. I'd like to think so, at least. This is a very weak weapon. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. Couldn't really level it up too much. No patronage. Surprise doesn't want it just where you're just spinning it around, unless it's going to be the Hayabusa Ryu. That's kind of what I meant, but not really. We'll go back to the, uh... Oop, it's up above. Back to the pole arm. Please, Dr. Kusamoto! You must help us take down the Shogunate! Please, make these people leave! Fox Mask Retainer! By the looks of Good. Oh, I can't even use this thing. Well, I guess it's neutral with this guy. Alright. Oh, that was way too late. Oh, you idiot! You touched the freaking poison! Now we're both toxic! You fool! Specifically me! Thanks. Thanks for just sitting there, bro. Appreciate you. Watching me die. Oh, God! I might actually die! Uh, there we go. Now, that poison is no joke. You can tell the poison isn't really doing much for you. Oh, that's unfortunate. I will say it's a little tough fighting with this thing since I don't fight with it too much. Jesus. Alright, I want to change weapons. Oh, not that one. You know what? Screw it. It's weak, but I'll use it. Very weak, actually. Actually, hang on a minute. I was talking shit to my companions, but they're actually kicking ass over there. Oh, wow. I actually dodged that. The dodging actually useful? Yeah, good swing, idiot. Actually, I think this is the exact same stance, just with a different weapon. I'm going to use the one where I have a disadvantage. Oh my god, the poison. Oh god, I can't move. No, mercy. I got one. Yeah, they just need one more shot on that guy and then they win. Oh, I should probably hurry because I'm about to... Ball! Didn't work. Oh, wrong one. Got him. Oh, he didn't die. Got him. Take off the masks, you scoundrels! That's enough for today, I think. I'll be going. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, so they were just very respectful about it. All right. Thank you so much. I am truly grateful to you. Now I can finally go back to studying cures for cholera. Could I ask another favor? 
Would you be so kind as to track down Dr. Narasaki? He was rounded up during the recent purge, and he's still in custody. Oh, that sucks. I heard he had just come up with a concoction that eased the symptoms of cholera. I have my work cut out rebuilding this medical facility. In the meantime, I would very much like you to speak to him for me. Okay. Please do this for me. And if ever you need anything, you know where to find me. Bad. Yeah, they did take that very well and very respectfully. They just like, they got their asses kicked and they're like, my bad, we're leaving. Like, All right. All right, new bond. We're acquainted. Mission complete. All right, let's check out. We'll check out the uh, the princess, and then we'll uh, be done for the day. I'm feeling very, very exhausted. But who knows? Maybe we'll play more of it tomorrow. We'll see. The sabers aren't too bad either. You know, let's play with the. Uh, let's try an Odachi. It's the best. I guess I'll use a. Uh, Oh no, these are Odachis too. Oh, the otherworldly Odachi, sure. Hell yeah, there we go. Oh! Wrong one. Oh yeah, I also have one where I can just drink sake. That would be hilarious if it actually like fucks you up. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Oh yeah, there's your warrior's vow thing. Uh... Oh, smoke bomb. <laughs> oh my god, that thing's huge! Damn, she guzzled that shit. Alright, then the elegant turn. I learned from one of the characters. Um, That's the one I already did, yeah. Way fan. That's cute. All right, let's go see the princess. Damn, Harda alcoholic. Uh, I guess in these times, yes. In actual lore, no, because uh, he likes to stay fit. So she doesn't want to end up having some kind of like beer belly or anything. She's like, I gotta, gotta stay fit. Can't do it. Why am I pulling out my gun to call my horse? Um, oops. Where is it? Oh yeah, wait, I can just do this. Um, wow, that's a ways away. All right. Let's go! Oh, sorry. My bad. Definitely gallop in there. Also, the one other good thing about this is uh, when you're auto running, it picks up all the items that, like, technically aren't even in your reach. But she'll grab them anyway. If they're within a respectable di uh, respectable distance, she'll grab them. That's one of the other benefits for doing auto run. Because there might be some things I miss, and I'm like, oh, crap, I didn't get that. Because, honestly, getting those things in the, in the long run is actually very necessary, in a way. For me, at least. Thank you for your patronage. Boop, boop, boop. You to actually stretch out and do shit. Oh, good lord. How many stars do I go for this game? Uh, out of five? Probably four. It's a very fun game. And it's very addicting so far. But, um... It's not... I wouldn't say it's a favor yet. Granted, I'm only on... I only just finished chapter one. And I'm assuming there's not that many chapters. Famous last words. So... I'd say four for now. 
Maybe uh, 3.75 stars even. Probably the lowest I'd go. It just feels like the combat could definitely feel a lot more fluid than it actually is. But, um, it's fun. And for anybody who ever wants to, like I said, it's it's online. You can play with people. Probably makes it easier to play online. The AI seemed pretty handy so far. Oh, wait, hold on. Pause the auto run. New banner. Bunk, bunk. Also, I love the sound of her just, like, smacking the rocks together. Very nice. Yeah, 3.75 is probably the lowest I'd give, and then 4 is probably the highest for now. As time goes on, I'll probably... Because, like I said, it's not the most fluid of gameplay, but uh, I'd still... Because I, I, I really think that uh, Neo and Wolong are easily more fluid in getting the gameplay than this game is. But it's still pretty good. Who knows, maybe they'll update it to make it feel more fluid. I know they did that for Wolong. Oh, alright. Where are you? Oop! Oh, there you are. Here you go. Oh, I guess I didn't get you. Just kidding. Hang on. I got you. Never mind, he grabbed me. <gasps> it did fill up the circle, so I'm amazed I didn't heal her. I didn't, that didn't aid her. All right, fellas, come on. Let's go over here. No need to rush this. Eat that meanwhile. Don't mind me. Shut up! I already aided you originally, and you did nothing. Now you're up. Jesus. I think you know a lady. Just kidding. I don't know who the hell that is at all. Oh, look at the high angle I got going on here. Whoa! Oh, he just barely survived that. Oh, he's a he's a fugitive. Nah. Nah. Get out of here. Look at these guys up. Damn, I I got some good strength. I'm holding it up like that high. Jesus. Now that just looks. Now the way I'm holding it now just looks uncomfortable. I will say these guys with their. Oh wait, no, this is a different dude. He doesn't have claws. He just has an actual blade. Oh, I cannot get a shit down. He kicked me! Rude! I will say, though, to no surprise, the Odachi does a lot of goddamn damage. Holy shit, that was insane. Oh, I decapitated him, too. Am I being ignored by this guy? What the fuck? Uh, camera? Wait, didn't I just see this dog originally? I thought I saw this dog named Pharaoh already. There you go, buddy. Another pet for you, if that is you. If not, carry on with your adventure. Hope you have fun. Hope you live. Hope you're living. Oh, another fugitive. Oh, there's two right next to each other. I'm sure that's a 2v1 duel going on over there. Okay. And then that one's only level 24. That's light work. Uh, so this area is mostly liberated, but these two areas are, like, right next to each other. So that's going to be a little rough. Um, eh, they're both level 28. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, I did get a new Odachi. Here I saw. Let's see if it's any better. Ooh, the Craftsman Odachi. Looks very basic, but... Hey, sometimes basic is fine. Who's moaning? Can you not? Anyway. Back to see the princess, and then we'll finish up. The favor missions can usually go like decently long or very, very short. I've no I'm I think I've only done like one decently lengthy. Grab it. There we go. I think I've only ran into one like decently length. I wouldn't even say very long. One of them was like pretty decently lengthy, yes. No, I wouldn't say long. But usually they're pretty short. Sun's almost going down anyway. How do I get in? Princess, I'm here for you. 
Ah, here we go. I'm here. Oh, I guess I can't be on my... Okay, I guess horses are forbidden in here. Fair enough. Oh, it's you and... That guy. And then just regular soldiers. All right. Being the case, there's a duty I would have you perform. Great. How'd you know that? <laughs> I was the wife of the previous shogun, you know. There's no hiding such things from me. Uh, the wife of the previous shogun? How old are you? Katsu. She sounds very young. It stands to reason I have dealings with them. The duty in question is the protection of the shogunate vassals. Following the purge, resentment towards the shogunate has continued to grow. So it has. And of late, I've been feeling uneasy. Without definite proof of a threat, however. What's up, Debitone? Welcome, hope you're doing good. Can't set people to work. Thus, yeah, yo, I to you for help. If you have any other questions, I'd be glad to answer them. I wish I did, but... Well, then what good are you? I can't say anything for certain. What do you mean you don't know? I'd be happy if it turns out it was all in my mind. Cool. So, will you do it? Will you protect the retainers? Uh, yeah, whatever. I'll do it. Yeah. Wonderful. I can see why Katsu places his trust in you. If something were to happen, it would be after everyone has. Oh, there's a cat them. sitting in the on the, laying on the you little pillow there. In the area till then. Wait, princess, what are you doing out here? It appears. I was right to feel uneasy. Katsu's escort has not returned. Oh no. Indeed. I'm depending on you. Yeah, when I said we, I didn't really mean you, just you me. Can't afford to lose Katsu. Not now of all times. I will come with you. Fuck. As much as it pains me to do so, I must ask her to hold the fort. It'd be just a little while. I have made my decision. I was about to say, I don't think I can actually make you say no, Let's can I? I can make you change your mind. I guess in hindsight, I would not argue with a fucking princess. The reins. I'm afraid you'll have to give me a lift. Oh. Uh, okay. Are you, are you getting on? Did you have to like look around for, you're like neck deep in my Odachi. That's better, okay. That looked very awkward. All right, let's go. Oh, so you're up 25? Oh, okay. I'm hoping not to go, Ooh, cat. You gotta collect cats for the cat lady, no joke. So, uh, okay, there we go. I was about to say, <laughs> just r awkwardly riding in the silence. Just asking for too much now, Lubu would never. Nah, Lubu's a pure simp. He would do it if he was Diao-chan. Alright, she's 25, that's fair. I was about to say, she looks like teens or early 20s. Turns out she's mid twenties. Possibly. You know? If Otsuko can't fight and I have to protect her, I'm gonna be pissed. All costs. I don't think she has a weapon on her. Unless she just fights barehanded. Or she just takes the horse and dips as soon as we get there. Oh, people are running out. 
Oh, those are just civilians. Hey! Oh, not gonna talk? Alright. I'll give us a little warning about what's going on. Oh, I forgot some of the cats get like pissy if you get too loud around them. I, I figured there'd be bandits along the way. I'll handle it. Of course I have. Where, where are you going? I'm actually digging the Odachi. Pretty cool. Oh, okay, sorry, I'm going, I'm going. Damn. Katsu! Damn, fucking yelling at me. What is that? Oh, it's just a reckless samurai. Oh, relax. Oh, wait, I think I've seen this guy already. Don't do it! Yeah, idiot! Also, Katsu looks super dapper. He's got the hat and everything. Oh, good reach. You messed me up, idiot. Ooh. Swinging my Odachi down like a goddamn hammer. I think I've seen this guy before in another mission, like way back then. I'll take another Warriors game, like based off another time period. That'd be that'd be cool. That'd be a nice breath of fresh air too. Doesn't always have to be the Sengoku period. What if I am? Well, well. Hell, even if they if they do something like that, they could even make it to where maybe they could do like a Warriors Odachi type thing where they have all like versions of Japan like into one area. All the past people get to see like everyone else. Then Goku gets to meet the Meiji restoration and all that stuff. I think that'd be pretty cool. What? Nakamura? Nakamura? Oh, Hanjiro Nakamura, not the wrestler. Okay. I should have you that. Lord is dead. Satsuma should have made peace with the Shogunate. Yet, here you are. <laughs> I love how I just stare at him with my blank expression. With all due respect, I think that's a mistake. The Shogunate should not have opened up Japan. I will say his outfit looks it really cool. Fit to rule. Mr. Saigo would surely say the same. Imbecile! Oh, the imbecile! Damn, Masamune would be happy. I won't listen to any more of this nonsense. You'll be dealt with later. Now be gone from my sight. Well, that went pleasant. Cool your head. Forgive me. It's just. It's true, oh, Simi Yi would also be proud. See a familiar face. I only mentioned Masamune because of uh, Japan. Imbecile! I have been feeling that something was amiss. He said it a lot in the first game. In hindsight, that must have been the source of my unease. Like, I think he said it like every sentence the in the first game. This incident lies with the Satsuma. We've called Not the hard eye! <laughs> I apologize. Ooh. Indeed. I too enjoyed riding with you. Ayo. I look forward to the opportunity. Did she just caress my arm? Again. So, as to what happens next, it did cause complications with the Satsuma if we punished Nakamura. I believe it'd be best to simply pretend none of this. It's all right, in this timeline, Harna isn't married, so it's fine. Ken Frisky. <laughs> My thanks. But, uh, I must thank you as well. I would hope so. Your service will not go unrewarded. This is a pretty cool outfit, though, I gotta say. Oh, there's an, an armor display that I got from my house. 
I guess we do gotta head back to my house anyway. Oh no, not Genzui. Oh boy, that's not good. I don't know how he's gonna take all this. Having attacked the British uh, leg uh, leg legation, Usaka now wants your help with this next scheme. Oh boy. And it's involving Gensui? That's not good. He was the one that we ended up helping to like burn down a, an American place. And that's when Ryoma was like, dude, you're going too far. And uh, he he's just been a bit more crazed with it because he's like, this is not what your master would have wanted. And he's still going about it anyway and doing what he wants. So uh, Gensui's kind of got a little crazed with it in a way. He's become a bit too passionate. So he's the one we technically kind of like air quotes left. We're still supporting him, but we kind of left him air quotes to support Katsu instead. So. Is that his name? Katsu? Or is it Kuzika? Oh, um. Favor unlocked. Oh, did it say that actually? Did it say favor? Because you, I don't know. I don't know how the favor thing works yet. All right, let's get back to the house. Oh, it's right there. Perfect. <gasps> Wait. First and foremost, there's a cat. I gotta see the cat. Yeah, we'll probably just play more of this tomorrow. I really have just been really, like, deep in this game. It's been really fun. I think the Odachi might be another mainstay. At first, the Naginata was, because I really like the Naginata weapons, but... Eh, this, the, the spears and Naginatas don't feel that great in this game, unfortunately. I might give the spear another shot. Oh, it's down there. Oh, it's a sleeping cat. I gotta be very quiet. Be very quiet. I'm gonna pet a cat. Wait, you can romance people in this game? Oh, wow. I had no idea. Yo, I can... That's pretty rad. All right. Actually, I don't even know who I would. Uh, not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil, like, deaths or anything, but the one person I was actually kind of hoping I would because I was kind of flirting with them, I was like, yo, this might get somewhere. And then... <laughs> they died. <laughs> I was like, what? <gasps> All right, let's get back to the house. Yeah, yeah. I, I, again, like I said, without spoiling, I'm assuming you know who I'm referring to, Demoto. I was so sad. I was like, are you kidding me? I went back to the timeline to be like, can I, can I like... Fix my errors? It's like, no, it's actually just something that actually happens. I did both versions of that mission, pro Shogunate and uh, anti Shogunate. It's like, nope, they're dead. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. The one person I was like, yo, this might be, this might work. It's gonna be a pretty cool little relationship, and they're dead. Oh, my dog came back. Actually, did I ever send out my dog? I think I did. Yep, I sure did. Oh, I got more Ronin casuals. Okay. Show the show the big booba from Farna. Sucks that we never got to see the Blade Twin though. The Blade Twin like shows up in like sometimes like random missions, which is weird. M like story missions, but random missions because you never know which one they're actually. The what the last one they were in, which was the one which ended up burning down the village, like burning down an American building. <laughs> uh, they ended up showing up, and you got to do a, like a two man boss fight with them, and I was like, oh, this is crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, I'm good. I would not wear that. At least not on Harna. Traveler garb. Monk's robe. Oh, there. There it is. There's. I'm guessing that's the newer version. Oh, this is this is different. Kind of does the same thing, except this one's a bit more revealing. <laughs> Yo, I could be the French. It's like, yeah, I have a love. And then, oh, I've got to find a new one already. <laughs> same vibe. I was like, all right. <laughs> I was so sad. Yeah, this was the outfit. The reason why, uh, just in case anyone's curious, the, the outfit I was wearing for the thumbnail for Harna, it was this one. Uh, it's, it's just that there was snow in the cutscene where I was, so it, it got like, it got weather conditioned on it, so I couldn't. It, it, it was uh, it had white on it as well. Yeah, no, you get a buff when you're. Yeah, sometimes these things will give you like buffs, like you're gonna get stronger at the nighttime. I'm like, okay. I kind of want to see that mission. You know what? We'll do one more. What do I got to rush? I ain't rushing shit tonight. I ain't got nothing to do. Let's do another mission. Let's do, let's see what this one with Genzui is about. Since he's on the uh, on the picture. 
Because like I said, I didn't do the mission that he wanted me to do for him. So I'm curious to see what happens if uh, this mission is in fact involved. Usually it'll show the pictures of like who this like affects, I guess. Or it's either who, who it affects or like who's involved with it. Or both. Usually both. If not all the time, both. And I'm just not paying attention. But I was about to say, this is a big ass dude. It's just armor. Very bulky armor, though. We meet again. Oh, what's up, Ito? Over here. And you? Oh, right. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a. Uh... Oh, wait. Genzu's right there. Oh shit. Hey, hey Genzu. You're not gonna bring up when I uh, didn't do that mission for you, right? I just heard something intriguing. Apparently, there are outsiders constructing a building. Oh, so he just doesn't give a shit that I did that. All right. And what's more, they're storing provisions, weapons, and ammunition inside. If we leave it be, their power will only grow. What do you say we burn it to the ground? This bitch is Nobunaga. This is the reincarnation of Nobunaga. All right, let's do it. Go to here. Let me show you the way. If I want to do the mission, I gotta, I gotta say it. So, fuck it. Right, let's go. So, does he not care that I let that very important dude live? Does he just not give a shit? Also, yeah, he is very anti-foreigner. He hates Americans, French, you name it. He, ha if they're here in Japan, he hates them. There you go. <laughs> That's what he sees the mess. He hates literally all foreigners. I'm not even... He literally hates them all. Here it is. No skulking about this time. We charge in head first. Uh, oh, okay. I guess we're doing this. Oh, I, I, I thought you would have gotten off the horse already. Now I feel awkward. All right, who are these guys? Are these American? That looks pretty American. All right. Sorry, friends. Hey, I know what uh, I know. I was like, hey, ooh, some lightning for your boy. Thank you. Yeah, Genzui is uh, Genzui is the epitome for uh for this time period of we don't like we don't like your kind around here. Is basically what he's uh what he is. He's gonna build a wall next. That's cool and shocking. I see what you did there. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of vibing with the Odachi. I'm kind of vibing with it a bit. It's pretty fun. Ow, who shot me in the back? Oh, I was going to throw more electricity, I think. Yeah, this weapon's pretty fun. Wait, what? Oh, no, they're the British. Never mind. Yeah, they got, literally, they have the, the Brits, the Americans. America! And then uh, the French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Build a wall all around the island, of course. Yes, this is pretty similar to Ghost of Tsushima, yeah. It's, uh, people have said it's a combination of uh, Ghost of Tsushima, Sekiro, uh, Neo. I wouldn't really say Wolong. I definitely would say Neo uh, more than Wolong. So, yeah, I'd say it's definitely, yeah, it's a combination of those three. They got shots and butter of the zoo, don't they, love? But yeah, no. You can you can definitely see a lot of the similarities for Ghost of Tsushima. Then you can still see the aspects of Neo, and then I guess Sekiro too. I guess with the grapple hook and everything, because I'm not familiar with Sekiro. So I'll take the word on the people who have played that. Here we go. Oh, yeah. All right. That's right. He doesn't want to do any stealth. He just wants to go head first, like you said. So fuck it. Oops, I hit it too many times. No shields. She is posed up right now. I got him. No worry. Got this, Genzui. He didn't do it. Hold on. Where'd it go? Holy shit! All right, big sword, big great sword versus big Odachi. Let's do this. I'm ready. 
Hang on, let me get the right stance. All right, this feels, this looks like a very uncomfortable stance with other like, you're slouched over and holding the sword like right up in your face. But you know what? That's fine. I got this. You, you gonna hit me? All right, well, you did. Congratulations. But it wasn't good enough. Damn, the Odachi's strong. Even with one parry, they lose all their stamina. Or key, technically. All right, where are the last two? The big man. British. He doesn't sound very British. He sounds American. All right, who's the wise ass? Hey, guys, excuse Sir, sir, I will... Fight you in a moment. Ooh. Oh yeah. If also, if you deflect these, I'm gonna try my best too. Oh, never mind. He gave up. <laughs> he gave up. If you deflect that, your sword does get imbued with fire, which is really cool. All right. Now we can deal with the big guy. Oh yeah. Nice. Right. Let's set it ablaze. <sighs> All right. I didn't really think this was the right idea to go about, but oh wait, did I just get the outfit that I actually kind of like? Hold on. This outfit actually looks pretty dope. If I, if it is the one I'm thinking of, uh, it might be further down because it's not that strong of an armor from the looks of it. Um. Oh yeah, the secret agent outfit. This looks really cool. And if you put on the right gauntlets, it'll fix the sleeves. Like, if you just put on regular gloves, like... Like that, for instance. you Just regular gloves, or even, like, that. Looks really cool. Oh, yeah, and the right boots. Uh, that'll work. There you go. This looks insanely cool. This is a really cool getup. I love this getup a lot. I dig it. But let's go back to the other outfit since we are, uh... It's not very Ronin of us. Where's my Ronin casuals? There we go. Um... Just regular old sandals. What an outfit. The coat is my main outfit. It's It's a really cool look. Especially if you put the hat on, you can have like a real dapper look to it. You good? Should we have walked in here? They're all coughing. You murderer. Do you have any idea what you've done? Hey. You are just as much to blame. I'm sorry. I don't know. I thought better of you. I thought so too. I'm sorry. We were bringing Western medicines and medical equipment for all the Japanese people suffering here. Yeah. None of it can be made here in Japan. It's only thanks to those Westerners that we've managed to save the number of. Yeah, she said with her chest out. Those Westerners. I didn't realize either. Not exactly. Come on, Genzui! Now I remember you. The son of Dr. Kusaka from Choshu. Ah. I can't believe the son of a physician would act with such wanton disregard for human life. Enough. What did you know? Uh-oh. My father might have been a physician, but he still died of the cholera they spread. As did my mother and brother. I was left alone as they grew cold and their bodies began to seep. I couldn't even hold their hands. I couldn't even. Okay, so maybe he has some ex uh, maybe he has some good reasons behind it. I understand that you've suffered, but your hatred is misplaced. Going around killing Westerners is simply madness. She's got a point. Do you really think your family would be proud to see what you've done? Okay, maybe we can't speak that much. There are still survivors. I'll have to treat them. She's tall. You're in the way. Clear off, both of you. Hey, do you hate me now? Wasn't really. Oh, I think my family would be proud. 
damn it. I... Shit, all right. I guess she put him in his place. Sorry. Okay, let's get out of here. Thanks for your assistance. Yeah, no problem, dude. Oh, great. Now is the doctor hate me? Ma'am? Well, now I just... Now I feel uncomfortable. She looked really cool. Yeah, I feel it too. I feel bad too. I didn't want to do all that. That outfit is insanely huge. That was a huge oof. Any mission that could, you know, make it up to her? <laughs> oh, it's this one. Wait, I have to strengthen my bond with Genzui first? After the shit he just did, you want me to do that now? Yeah, the poofy Disney princess. I'm not gonna lie. The first moment I saw it, I was like... Damn. <laughs> when I saw the back of her, I was like, oh, alright. Then I noticed it was the dress, and I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. So I have to go be friendly with Genzui after what just happened? Shit. What do I do? Give him a gift? Hey, sorry that this happened, and you, uh, got a guy put in your place. You want something? You want a gift? I don't even know what he likes. I haven't even looked up a guide or anything. I've gotten lucky with how many, like, points I get with him, so. I'm in Edo right now. There he is. Genzui. Hey, man. It was really awkward back there, huh? I don't know what you were thinking. Trying to get close to those shogunate officials. Oh, but relax. It's not that deep. Let's talk. Just for a while. All right. Oh, is this one, um... Is this a... Is this one of the favors? Where it has an exclamation mark? Yeah, in Tokyo. Um... What the fuck would this guy like? Seems like a cardboard box what he is. I don't think he would want anything from the West, Woody. <laughs> I don't think he would want that. Do you want some Azuki bean confection? I'm grateful. Alright, it helped a little bit. Good idea. I've got some time on my hands now if you're free. I'm about to actually fucking romance Genzui. Ah. There was something I Wait, no, I can't. He's married, right? Surely not. About the one who trained you. You've mastered the sword, no doubt. But that's not all. You've got real grit. Thanks, man. I've never seen anything phase you in the least. You must have had an incredible master. Like we had in Master Shoin. Yeah, it's so great. She tried to kill me when I left. thing about Master Shoin is that he could see right into your heart. He would have seen your true worth from the off. We were truly blessed to have been introduced to the man. He gave us purpose. That exclamation indicates a change in relationship. Two of these uh, equals romance, if I'm not mistaken. Way, oh, good. What does your teacher do these days? She's fucking dead. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing he wouldn't like it if I... Or he would like it. So I'm showing it that I probably have dismay for the Shogunate too. Yeah, I'll just say that. I see. Never mind. The Shogunate. They rule by suppressing the will of the people. I don't know if that one was even going to help. Truly, the Shogunate has lost its way. And there is no salvaging it now. Not only do they ignore the cries of the populace, but now they bend to the barbarians knocking at our door. It beggars belief. Can't they see how their people suffer with this disease they have invited into our home? A bakfu. Japan must change. Didn't I technically kill her? No one can do it but us. I guess I didn't want to bring that part up, did I? And live under the rising sun. I'm sure you've had your fair share of painful memories. Granted, she tried to kill me, I think, because I was trying to leave the village, but still. I actually ran into another mission where there were people from my village who actually tried to kill me. They kidnapped uh, Taka. 
and they uh, they try to they kidnap turrets so they can get to me, and they try to kill me. I used wooden weapons on them, and they still died. I was like, oh, all right. So did that help at all with the relationship? Nah, it's still not there. What level do I have to be for that? Because we're at level three with him right now? Or no, that was the the, the place, I think. Hey again, so we am back. I don't know if there's anything more I can do with him. For the time being. Yeah, I have to wait. Understood. Many things. Military strategy, history, philosophy. But it wasn't all book learning. He made us swim and climb mountains, too. Sounds neat. Looking back on it even now, his academy was truly different. Everyone would discuss ideas together, teaching each other. I learned a lot of things from that. When I close my eyes, I can still see it. That little tatami room. Haven't I told you? My family has practiced medicine in Choshu for generations. When I was young, I also studied medicine. But I stopped to focus on the cause. Mm, the cause, of course. What could one mere physician achieve in the face of the cholera overrunning Japan? It needs stamping out, no matter what it takes. All right, man, good talk. I don't want to keep doing the exclamation mark just by the off chance I actually can, like, romance him. Because technically he's married to her, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Well, I ain't am bothering with that. I'm sure I'll run into him again sometime in the future. All right, let's head back to the longhouse now. Right down there. Oh, I can't whistle for my horse in here. Weird. Oh, now I can. All right, let's head back. Yeah, we'll probably uh, we'll probably stream more of this tomorrow. I'll still be playing a little bit of it tonight, but I want to relax and unwind. It's been a very very long week. Put my doll game back. Yep. I don't know what the dog doing. Thought I'd drop by. Oh. Hey. I hope you haven't been hearing about me colluding with the others like uh, Genzui did. I'm assuming if it reached Genzui, that probably means it got to you as well. Uh, oh, wrong thing. I meant to go to housekeeping. Housekeeping! Oh, yeah, there's all of Taka's outfit. At least the, uh, the outfit and the hat. I don't think the other things are hers, but still. What else do I have here? Oh, I have a display, armor display. That's pretty neat. I'll put that there. We'll replace that with uh, this. Neat. Yeah, very fancy hat. You can wear it too. There's a picture of Taka too. <laughs> I'll change it up. I'll change it to. I like. I like the ships. Wait, what's this one? We'll keep. We'll keep it on the ships. And oh yeah, and then there's like fucking like Guan Yu's weapon. But yeah, that was, uh, that was a nice little chill time, just hanging out, playing some Ronin. Again, this game's been very addicting so far. And I'll probably play some more of it tomorrow, just because I don't really have any plans tomorrow, as far as I know. Um, maybe this weekend I'll play a little bit of... Uh... Maybe I'll go ahead and play some like Fortnite or something this weekend. Maybe get some friends with it, maybe not. Who knows? We'll see. Um, yeah, that was a spooky, scary skeleton. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But it was a nice little chill stream. Appreciate you all very much for tuning in to today's stream. Whether you were chatting in the chat, lurk and smash the like button, all that stuff, greatly appreciate it. And if you're someone who's watching this later, or now, and you want to see more of Rise of the Ronin, by all means, go ahead and smash the like button. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of it in the future. Maybe tomorrow. Because I don't have any other plans, honestly. I've just, this was just an unplanned uh, week because I didn't know what to schedule because I didn't know what days I'd be able to stream. But uh, I'll try to, pro I'll, mo I'll most likely be streaming tomorrow. So if you want to see more of it, be sure to hit the like button. Really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, you like the content that you see, be sure to hit that sub button. We are trying to 5k on the channel. 
And I also stream over on twitch.tv slash lightyvt, so you can go ahead and check me out over there too. I stream regularly on here, just like I do on YouTube. You can go ahead and follow me over there. We are trying to hit 1k over there as well. And uh, yeah, we'll probably just play more of this tomorrow, or maybe some more Supermarket Simulator or something. Both of them were both of them are very good stream games right now for me to do, so we'll see what happens. Hey everybody, thank you very much for tuning into today's stream. Hope you have a great rest of your day and or evening. I'll be seeing you all tomorrow on TGIF Friday. Woo! See you all tomorrow. But until then, have a good one. Farewell.